what's going on ryan troy back with another video for you today now if you missed my full breakdown of evoto i will have that video for you to click at the end of this video now there is so many different things in this application and i went through all of it it's a it's it's about 30 minutes long and i don't want this video to be that long so we're going to go over this new feature that they actually brought and i think it's pretty cool i think you will too so without further ado it is called color matching okay it's a new feature and the way it works is just incredible. Now, let me just give you the scenario so you can understand exactly what it is. Let's say I have this photo like the one in front of me, right? Well, I'm gonna come here to where it says AI color adjustments, okay? And create from preview. Now I already uploaded a few of these photos um, and I grabbed a lot of these from Pinterest, right? But let's just say with this photo that I'm looking at right now, and if you haven't done that already, all you would do is just click the upload for color matching, go to where it is on your computer and just get it. I uploaded a couple of photos already. Now let's say this photo right here, right? I'm gonna double click this. If I want it to look like that, you see how I have that now you may be thinking like, wow, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of out there. And it is because the amount right here is a hundred percent. And the best thing about it is we can actually play with this, right? So we could play with this slider to get the amount right, but that's not the only thing that we can do. If I come over here to specific area, I can, touch the person and all of these are links right so let's say if i click this i can choose which things i want to adjust right and it'll only adjust those things right there but if i click this link then it gets every single thing right so now the whole person basically and if i want to tone this down i can tone this down to get it exactly to how i want if i want to play with the color i could get it to exactly how i want in order to get that same thing and that is before and this is right now but i don't want you to look at things like uh you know contrast and you know stuff like that because this is only color matching right you still get to afterwards change certain things you want in the photo right here so don't be don't you know think oh this color match made it real dark. Well, just adjust your exposure. That is only to color grade as far as getting that color that you want. And the best thing about this and what I'm gonna do is just go ahead on and throw a quick little built-in um, preset that I have um that i edited somebody else with but it works pretty good with her too so basically this is a before and this is an after right and it tackled a whole lot of things that oh that is gorgeous that's that's great and the best thing about this is if you see right next to it i got a picture from the same shoot well i can just click this leave my hand on shift click the second picture and then sync and what that would do is well it bring that prop up and it's going to sync across so now what's going to happen is you're going to see this take the color and that edit and look at this definitely a good way to make sure all of your photos look exactly the same this color matching tool is amazing now there are other things that they brought like frequency separation and i'm telling you i gotta make a video on the fact that they brought frequency separation but once again we don't want this video to be too long but i want to get into more of this color matching now these photos are photos i took when i was in miami um so this was back in the summertime i know it's cold right now but bear with me so we're gonna go ahead on and come right back over to this paintbrush at the top right here click it go to ai color adjustments okay now for this what i was thinking of was like this photo right here right i'm gonna double click it i love the way that looks and it did a pretty good job as far as getting that color that we want right like i can see it in the water i can see the color that it put now we're going to do the same thing we did before and we're going to adjust it on the person and if you want to adjust it on the background let's just show you that as well you know you can change the way that looks as well but i really want it for the background um so we're going to change this tone a little bit yeah that's looking this is looking i like the way that looks and once again so i can hit back i can come back here go to color adjustments and if i wanted to i can still play 
with the photo that was only a nice color grade that has absolutely nothing to do with your shadows highlights you know and all of that and you can really get that good photo and i'm gonna do the same thing use the same preset that i used before because i kind of really like it just to let you see what this will look like okay so this right here is before and this is after and let me get a little closer so you can like really see right this is before and this is after. I really love the way that that looks right there. Before, after. You let me know in the comment section below, what do you think? Now, if I come here, I know what I was looking for when it came to this image was actually something different than the previous image, okay? And the one I was looking at was, let's say something like a sunset. How would it handle that, okay? Now look at this. If we see this, let's double click this and we're going to do the same thing. It looks dark, right? This is our, our picture right here, our reference picture on the right. And although it really did match it, right? I mean, we don't have that sunset because the sun's not there, but it really did match this vibe. Like, look at the water. Look at the, the like, it looks really good, right? But I'm going to take this from the person again to brighten her up maybe a little bit and i shouldn't even use the word brighten up right because like i said you can do all the other stuff but it's just to take some of this effect off of her i'm actually going to get the rest by coming back to my color adjustments and probably push some shadows up on her right some highlights and a little bit of exposure right there that is perfect i love the way that look that's very now this is a very moody like think about it we went from this to this and we're not done yet why because we are going to come back here throw this little preset that i made from another person but it works really good um with everybody else so look at that before and after I, I love the way this look and another thing is as well like it's it's so many different things you can change if you feel like that white balance is you know a little bit a way that you don't you can adjust that because to me it kind of was looking a little pink and you could adjust that and just get that as, oh man yeah that looks good you could get that however you want like I, I really actually like this this is what i like right here so from that to that and then let's put these back on it right here oh wow look at that let's get a little closer from this right here to that you cannot tell me that that doesn't look good right and keep in mind if we're using this right now, this is real quick just for the video but you may tweak a little things that that are here right everything doesn't work for everybody as you can see this also has body adjustments on this preset you can kind of see right here in the stomach um and you can really go crazy when it comes to that right so like um hips this is kind of where you did you do it right here um waist you know making it small or whatever but you can adjust that towards every picture this is just a quick preset that i threw up on it now the reason why i'm happy about things like this is because i get a lot of clients like this client right here she actually sent me a reference photo that she wanted to do now or, or that she wanted that look to be like and i actually have it right here so i'm gonna go to ai color adjustments and it was this this was the photo and it did it already i wish i could have showed you before it did it but it doesn't matter this is the photo that she sent me and she was like i want to recreate this right and i was like all right yeah that looks that looks really cool but some people may have a problem with editing you know to that style to get it that way but i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna come down here to tone probably pull a little bit off of her and now the worst thing is pulling it all the way down and it just doesn't match right so of course we want to be able to kind of make it similar to to have her body still look like it was you know in these conditions because it's easy to mess that up so yeah that's to me that's perfect i'm gonna go ahead on and go back come back to the top color adjustments again and if we want to tweak any of this we can uh i really like the job that we did already let's throw that preset on that i was talking about not really sure how it's going to do with her um but let's see oh that's perfect look at that look at her face go from this to this this is 
to pull the stomach down a little bit if we wanted to dial it in more like i said we can do that but look at that and that's just from me going based on the photo that she sent me that quick we have a color grade that looks just like it now how about this right let's say you wanted to do something real crazy right let's let's try that so you see this right here <laughs> what if we use something like this right i'm going to show you what i mean now when i say um the things that we can do to adjust this so i'm gonna come down to the person right if we do it like this it's it actually kind of looks good i actually kind of like that but let's come like this and bring this color down a little bit and what we're going to do now is i am going to go back and this is where we are going to tweak some settings when it comes to my exposure and everything right here so to me personally my darks are too bright okay so i'm gonna bring my blacks down a little bit right there i'm gonna bring my shadows down a little bit and i'm gonna bring my exposure down just a tad bit and then that way now we go from something like this to something like that just with color matching now if this is your jam and look at that oh man put the edges back on the skin looks perfect see the glasses right here and this is another thing see those glasses let's go to the eye section and remove glasses glare bang and don't know if you really could see that right here see that purple in it boom got rid of it that evoda is amazing that's all i gotta say about that also background clean let's get some of this banding out that i see oh yeah that's perfect and i'm not sure if that's picking up and we're here to clean background and the distraction removal um because that's just the way i like to clean my backgrounds um and we're going from that to something like this you cannot tell me that this is not an amazing new feature now if it's anything oh oh yeah yeah oh yeah that's perfect if it's anything that you want me to bring up when it comes to Evoto, leave it down in the comment section. OK, you leave it in the comment section and I will cover whatever video that you need me to cover. If you're not understanding something, um, I use this software almost exclusively if I'm not manually editing certain things. Um, I use this pretty much exclusively. So I know this application like the back of my hand at this point. So once again, my name is Ryan Troy and until the next time, peace.